Welcome back to Now Media's TV show, Pain Diaries. We are here in Houston, Texas, and today we're gonna to talk about a revolutionary new therapy for chronic back pain and for annular tears of the discs. I have Megan Hansel here with me to talk about this revolutionary procedure, but first, I'm gonna play a video to explain. The Disc Seal Procedure, innovated by Dr. Kevin Paza over 10 years ago, now available in a city near you. If you suffer from chronic back or sciatica pain, the need to seal herniated discs was recognized decades ago by Dr. Kevin Paza. All herniated discs have tears, which leak, inflaming the nerves, causing low back and leg pain. Wear and tear and trauma cause disc tears, resulting in herniations, bulges, and degeneration. The discs leak their fluid, inflaming spinal nerves, causing low back and sciatic pain, known as leaky disc syndrome. The tears allow the disc's inner gel, the nucleus pulposus, to leak out, causing inflammation affecting sensory nerves within the disc and outside, causing low back, hip, leg, and foot pain. Spine fusions don't always provide relief because they can't stop discs from leaking. Likewise, discectomies accelerate tears and degeneration, worsening leaks because discs cannot be surgically sewed. There's never been a successful way to repair a torn disc until now by the disc seal procedure. First, an annulogram is performed, which is an x-ray test revealing disc tears and leaks unseen by MRIs. The annulogram informs the physician exactly where to inject fibrin to seal disc tears. Next, the patented method of injecting a natural biologic called fibrin is injected into the spinal discs, which seals and promotes regrowth of tissue. The human body heals its wounds when two natural proteins called fibrinogen and thrombin come together to form a polymer, fibrin. The fibrin polymer forms a matrix of webbing that bridges the tears within the annulus, preventing the nucleus pulposus from leaking out. The fibrin forms quickly to become the consistency of the disc, thus stimulating healing. Find a disc seal trained physician near you. Absolutely fascinating. So Performance Pain and Sports Medicine is a disc seal provider in Houston, Texas, as well as Lawrenceville, New Jersey. Um, I am actually a patient that has had disc seal, and I want to introduce Megan Hansel, one of our practices patients who's here who also had disc seal. How's it going? Great. Thanks for being with us, Megan. Yeah. So I wanted to talk to you first about chronic back pain that irritated you and what pursued you to seek out treatment for your low back? So I actually found out about um, my disc whenever we were doing the uh, DRG trial and uh, checking everything out for that with MRIs. So when I had my trial, I noticed with the DRG, I noticed that there was still some pain going down my leg that was not being resolved. Um, and that's when we found with an MRI that I had a leaky disc and that is whenever I was like, okay, well, this is obviously a big part of my back pain too. We need to take care of both of these items. Right, and you did the DRG for chronic pelvic pain, mm -hmm. but you also had the back pain. And right. so the multitude of symptoms is overlapped sometimes. And our brain says, oh, I just have pain kind of in this region. You can't say, oh, it's specifically this or that pain. And so again, we have use our imaging studies and our treatments and we kind of eliminate process of elimination. Right, because there's the smudging. I mean, there's been mm -hmm. articles now and studies done on the smudging uh, from the brain and how exactly. the nerves, yeah, exactly, play off of each other. It's hard to pinpoint where something's coming <laughs> from. But yeah, I remember doing the trial for the DRG and then I was like, what is this pain down my leg? And um, whenever we found out about the disc that was leaking, I, I thought that made a lot of sense because it was to the point where I felt like I couldn't put a lot of weight onto that left leg mm -hmm. uh, and just shooting pain, very typical sciatic pain, but it came on very suddenly once the symptoms started and they were intense and when it did happen, it was almost like a jolt of lightning down my leg. That's terrible pain. Yeah, what was it like for you? Yeah, so I had, I played division one basketball back in the 2000s graduated in 2000, so late 90s, I played division one, I, I ran and I jumped and I was beat up and lifted heavy my whole life. And I just had this kind of chronic achy back pain once I turned 40. 
and started having children as mm -hmm. well. And so this back pain just started getting worse and worse. And in 2018, I had an MRI and it showed I had three tears. I had um, L4, L5, S1, all torn. And so these three levels, you know, I saw the tears on the MRIs, but I was like, yeah, I don't really have too much pain, but it started getting worse and worse and worse. And finally, I just felt like weak and my core, I did all this core work and planking and more planking and more planking and, you know, extensions for my multifidi muscle to really strengthen my core because I wanted to brace this. I didn't really want to do anything about the disc. I was going to do it naturally. So finally, the pain just got so annoying. It was like I'd turn over in bed and it would just be so achy and getting up in the morning. I was like, wow, I'm you know, early 40s and I'm having all this back pain, this isn't fun. So Dr. Wiederholtz, my partner, got trained in disc seal a few years ago and I finally said, hey, January 2023, I'm doing this. And so I had my three levels done and that day it was painful. I did it under anesthesia and then as the pain, um, over the next couple of days, my pain went back to baseline. And then a few weeks later, it went down even more and it went down even more. And now I can say I might have a twinge here and there and I'm back to my regular activities and it's been five months later and I'm lifting again, I'm doing my core strengthening and I feel amazing. Um, it's just been a great experience um, to get rid of that pain. Yeah, and you mentioned the weakness, you know, that was a symptom that I didn't even think about. Um, I'm hypermobile and mm -hmm. I also did quite a few sports and uh, quite a few weight-bearing activities. I had three kids in the span of five years, and yeah, when I turned 30, all this back <laughs> pain started, and I was thinking, I'm too young for this. Uh, but definitely, I mean, after the procedure, I had a similar experience. You know, that was, th uh, you know, it was painful, but it wasn't too bad. It was just kind of like when it was in a flare, and I thought, okay. And then by a couple weeks later, I noticed it, like you said, decreasing significantly. Um, I kind of didn't notice it except for the occasional twinge here and there by this point out because I got mine done I think a month before you did so <laughs> yeah yeah it's great to feel much a significant less back pain and I know I still have joint arthritis and I have other issues you know again a smudging kind of effect and but the that instability feeling where my muscles were feeling weak and just that chronic ache is gone which is nice Right, and then it also helps your body to stay where it needs to, and mm -hmm. uh, instead of trying to default to um, compensating, basically, uh, like I know I was doing that really, really badly. I wasn't putting my full weight in my left side, right. and so that was changing my gait. That was actually making some of my pain worse, including some of my knee pain, some of my ankle pain, mm -hmm. um, pain not you know outside of that area. Right. So it's helped with quite a bit of uh, my symptoms. And that's, I mean, it's fantastic. You've had great results. I've had great results. And Dr. Wiederholt, he's also a patient. <laughs> Dr. Pausa did it to him. Um, so we, we practice what we preach. You know, we're patients of each other's. And, you know, the goal is to live our best lives. And the, the fibrin that's used, as you saw from the video, is an FDA-approved fibrin. We're using that off-label, though, in the discs. And a lot of what we do in pain management is technically off-label. But again, we're achieving these results for patients and hopefully it helps the patient themselves as well as their loved ones and their family members and their work life and social life. Exactly, I think uh, that's a very important point as well. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for sharing your, your testimonial with us about Disc Seal. I'm so happy you're able to come to the interview today. This yeah. is Dr. Manzi with Performance Pain and Sports Medicine.